Hi folks, it's Moz here and on the workbench today I'm going to be unboxing a brand new tooled model kit from Revell. I have in my hand this German submarine Type 9 C40 U190 German submarine in 1 to 144 scale. And as I said, I'm going to unbox it and review it right now. So this is the latest tooling from Revell. It's a level four, one to one four four scale. It contains 116 parts and the length of, the, of it is 53.1 centimeters. And uh, I've looked on the Revell website. They've got a cracking video of this built, but I saw it at Avon because uh, Revell were there. They had a couple of displays and they had this scale model on display. And next door was a dealer there and I picked this up for 20 quid. And I thought, you know, that's a lot of, it's a big model for 20 quid. So I think they've done well in keeping the price relatively good for this. I don't normally build suit, um, submarines, but you know, I've just felt maybe it's something to look outside the box and build something a little bit different. Now I've got the Outlaw paints and I want to use them. I've got a really good German range and I thought, well, this might be a good one to uh, build, especially the, if you look at the uh, box art, you have this Type uh, 9 and it's got little rust patches and I'm tempted to uh, use a bit of the old Outlaw paint medium rust on this and just spray it up and make it look a little bit, uh, you know, sea beaten, I should say. It comes with, it says 116 parts. It has an illustrated building instructions, which we'll see in a minute. Uh, it's got some good decals. And I've been told that the decals are cartograph and they will be putting them on the box uh, in the future that the decals are cartograph. It has a quick dive device and snorkel for authentic functionality. A uh, late design with large conservatory for distinct details. And, uh, and that's what I'm reading from the website. They say 116 parts there, but it's saying 115 parts on the website. But anyways, um, they were for sale at the model show for 20 quid. You can buy them on the website or, or around, uh, I think Revell have got them at 24 euros, 25 euros, but you can have a look. Anyways, on to the box art. So the box art, is always with Ravel, you know, basically oil painting, you know, this uh, a painted artist impression of the boat in high seas. Looks like it's torpedoed a boat there and it's sinking and they've got, uh, uh, is that German? And they've got uh, a frigate behind them following on. So yeah, lovely detail there. DFRKA 2023 apparently did the, the artwork. So as it's a big box, I'm gonna be moving around the box so you can see everything. This side of the box, basically, you've got the, the barcode and you've got the box art again. By the way, the code for this is 05167. So if you want to go look for it, you can. Edge of the box, oh, difficult to do the edge of the box. Edge of the box, again, there's the price for it. Tell you all the information that you need. Um, this side, again, just the box art and a bit of bump. But on the back, uh, with the model kits uh, from Ravel, they show you it already built and they have pictures of it built. So there you go, you can see some of the detail there indeed. Um, uh, prototype model it says on here, mm, not too sure. Comes with the base, but all submarines do. And I've been assured it's not a case of just sticking two halves together, you've got to actually work at this kit. Uh, at the bottom it's telling you the Ravel colors that you need, and we'll look into that in a bit more detail. Uh, then again, there it is there, Car uh, manufactured 2024 by Carrera Ravel, because that's their new name. Uh, they've been, I think they're an American company and it's made in Poland. Just so that you know, I've been advised this week that they do, that Revell Germany and Revell USA are the same company. It just says it's um, distributed by uh, Carrera Revell of Americas and in the UK it's uh, Carrera Revell UK. All right, so even though it's Carrera Revell Europe, it's all the same company. They're not separate, so forget that myth. Right, there we go. Uh, there it is, and there's the box. As I say, it's a massive box. Just quickly jumping in before I unbox this kit, can I ask a favor? Could you please subscribe to this channel? It really does help. All you've got to do is click subscribe and ring that bell 
click all and you'll be notified when I release a new video. Also, give us a thumbs up. That would be absolutely fantastic. Right, back to the unboxing. Right, now it's time to open this box. We're going to, uh, you'll notice that it is a side opening box, which Ravel are infamous for. I'm gonna say that. I had a chat with Luke and I said, you just need to change your boxes, mate, because you know they are they are thin, flimsy. They don't store well if you're going to keep it in the stash. So I think that's everything in here. So there's the in instructions for it, and you put them to one side, and then you have the plastic. I can't see any decals. Let me just check in here to see if they've got the decals in here somewhere. Uh, let's have a quick look. There you go. Or oh, is that them in there? Uh, let's have a look at the decals. Uh, there you go. So there's the decals there. I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see. Um, looks like you've got two schemes. You've got... Uh, we'll have a look at what the schemes are in a minute. But uh, yes, you've got the flag there. It's getting close if I can get that to zoom in on that point there. So you can see, there you go. There's the flags. Printed in Italy, so I'm assuming these are cartographed. Um, anybody knows different just leave a comment below and let me know what uh, where they come from but I've been told that it's cartograph and uh, new kits that have them will have that cartograph logo on the side of the box from uh, in, in future releases so you go there you have the decals very very nice um, and register yeah not too many to do but you know you didn't see many on a on a u-boat anyway so there you go, there is the hull, it's massive. As you can see, this, you know, it, well, it's 53 centimeters, so it's half a meter long. <laughs> half a meter long, eh, crumbs. Um, let's just get a little bit close, it's uh, zoom in so we can see. There we go, zoom in. Let's just have a quick look at the detail on it. That is very nice, indeed. Can you see that, see all the detail there? A um, little bit of raised lines there, recess, so you've got a bit of a mixed bag here which is good on the on a submarine going through just uh, moving it up and down as you can see just trying to see yes very very nice i'm assuming that's where the anchor goes and uh, that's your torpedo bays the 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 bow torpedo bays there or should i say the uh, the exit point so there's is there anything on the inside no i can't see any part number on that but you you can you can see which is port and starboard this is definitely starboard isn't it on the right side yeah and then we'll look at the next one bring them up close so you can see again so basically you've got exactly the same but on the opposite side nice detail nice recesses there just going through here I said I've, I've done very few submarines in my time but it's always good to have a have a play with something a little bit different and uh, there, there you go. You can see. Um, oh, I'm just wondering, is that like? Just I assume then you've got these one, two, or is it 12, 12, 2, 21, 13, 13. So I'm assuming there's numbers there. I suppose you'd have to drill them out, I guess. But I suppose these are the ribs as well. You've got uh, placements there for ribs or bulkheads, whatever you call them in a submarine. As I said, I'm not a submariner, so I don't really know. But there you go, there's those pieces there. Then finally it's getting close here and just see that's part of that. I think that's the, I'm assuming that would be the front. Yeah, that will be the, the bow. Just looking there. Yeah, just looking there. See that? It's like the fits are gonna look pretty good. So I think that's the bow um, deck there with escape patch there, I guess. No, that would be for torpedo. No, 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 don't be for torpedo, would it? The torpedo would be at the stern, wouldn't they? If they're going up, they'll be at the stern, I guess. Will they go out the back? I can't remember now. But yeah, answers. You can always, as I said, any mistakes I make, please put them in the comments because your engagement really helps. So there you go. Nice and nice there. So there you go. There's the first two pieces of this scale model kit. Next bag, we'll go through and hopefully we'll get... Oh, they're, they're taped, are they? Oh, they look like they're taped. Right, again, we'll get up close and you can see... Uh, this is more the deck, so that's where the Connie Tower goes, I guess. Some, you know, it's all raised heels. That recess, that's recessed actually. Recess, but you've got some raised bulges there. 
Um, got some vents, it looks like. Moving back. Yeah. Turn them over. I know you've got some points there, I think. It says there. 2024 144 144 scale German submarine type 1X or 9. It's got the Ravel badge there as well inside. Cool. You don't see that on FX kits, do you? You don't see the logo on the plastic, really. So um, we'll look at C first and just go through. I'm assuming this is for the display stand. I can't, yeah, so that's where you put your, 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 your U190 on there, I guess. Um, and you've got some very small parts there. We're just wondering if they're like the the uh, the shoulder pads for the guns. I don't know. I'm just looking. I I know nothing, like I say. But we're gonna look at the instructions. We'll see what these parts are. But yeah, put some bits there. That's it. Sprue C. Moving on up to Sprue B, and they're quite large as well, which is good. And they actually tell you that they actually says front on these, so you're showing you so when the instructions it will tell you which way these go, these bulkheads front, and then I suppose these are like heels or something for the for the underneath in the hull. But yeah, there you go. You can see the injection pin marks on the back, so you won't need to fill them in. I don't think injection marks on the back of them, so I hope you won't see that anyway because that'd be inside the hull. But uh, yeah. Um, life preserver, I think they're called life preserver. So there you go. That's sprue B. This one here is sprue A. This is sprue A. This one. So we've gone a bit backwards, but you know, we, we know we're amateurs here, aren't we? Looks like you've got some rods there, some masts, uh, or um, could be the periscope. I don't know. We'll have a look in a minute. You've got your. Yeah, your rudders there and your fins for the back there's your propellers nice two uh propellers there just going down through there's your anchor one little anchor just like bits for the conning tower there brilliant and there's parts of the stand there that's your stand there so basically it's, it's like a four-bit stand really uh, to keep your submarine on the level and then sprue d I think this is the uh, stern. So there you go. There's all the detail there. You've got like a diamond pattern there, I think. You look at yeah, a diamond pattern on the back. A little bit of recess, a couple of bulges. Yeah, standard. Very, very nice. That's all that is at the front there. We'll have a look. Another bag of sprues, taped up, not sealed, which is okay. And then we'll get this out of the bag. Lots of parts for a 144, but it is a big kit. I wonder what the, 70, the 172 scale must be absolutely massive. So, right, we've, what have we done up to? We've done up to D. Let's um, try and find, um, that's K. What's that one? Uh, so then, moving on to Sprue J now. This is Sprue J, and you've got the start there of the basis of the Connie Tower. Definitely, and all the bits there. Just moving through. You've got some ladders, got some railings. Yeah, very. You know, it's going to be an in-depth build. This one, lots of bits to put on after. Most definitely. Again, more railings there. Another life ring, life preserver. I presume they're torpedo hatches. I'm assuming. So you've got quite a bit going on there. Definitely. Right, very, very nice. So there you go, that's J. J, so then that must be need K. We'll get K up here next. So where's the K? There's K there. And again, you've got the top of the, I presume that's um, more, I think that must be more of the, the bulkhead for the, the hull, that one. You can see there's no flush on this kit. It's very crisp. There's railings here. There's some railings again, I believe, all the way down. Oh, hang on. Is that where we drill out the hose, I suppose, to go on the side? I'll have a look at that. That might be where, because you can see they're at an angle. So they, you know, so sit and go into the deck. So I'm presuming that's where you drill the hose out to uh, to fit these railings, which is a nice little touch. Just looking now, there's a, looks like a bit of pipe work there. Yeah, 
very nice. So that is sprue K. And the final sprue is sprue I. There's the eye there, nice and big. And again, more railings. And I presume this is for the, is it the Winter Garden platform, which is the one behind the tower? Yeah, I'm assuming that the, that, is that the, I'm just looking, is that the, is that the 37 millimeter deck gun? Or is it the 20 millimeter flat gun? Would they have one or two? I can't remember now. I'm assuming these here are the, no, the big one would be the deck gun, wouldn't it? Would it be the big one? Oh, I don't know, they're all different. I'll find out in a minute when we go through the instructions. But I know they had a 37 millimeter deck gun, but what I've read up on this, they had a 20 millimeter flat gun and they also had a 105 millimeter deck gun as well. So yeah. Trying to see. So there you go, there's all the railings there, all the pieces. You can see all the injection pin marks are at the back. And this is all your railing there for the um, uh, the Winter Garden platform that they have. I'm assuming that's the top of the Connie Tower there as well. So there you go, lots of pieces in this kit. So, you know, and for 20 quid, I don't think it's half bad in value. Right, it's time for the instructions now. So, I do apologize, it's got a little bit of like a satin finish, but I will move it around if it gets affected by the light from the, you know, the, on the camera here, the, okay, I'll try and move it around so you can see. So, um, Revell instructions are very, very good. They're in color, so they do help a lot. You can see it there built, looks very nice indeed. Uh, looks like brass on the propeller there, a little bit of brass on the back. Not really weathered on this picture, but I can see a bit of weathering around the Connie Tower and on the Winter Garden platform there. And there's the attack periscope. Right, let's turn it over. First off, you've got the basically the, the how-to guide. Read the instructions first, look at the part number, and then you need these tools to uh, put together. The same here that you're building a plane, but you're not obviously building a submarine, but it's, it's like two, few, two fuselage shafts going, there, get, get going together. I get that. It's all standard stuff. And you get these sort of pictures in the um, Epic start set range, so good. And there's all your symbols there. Glue, do not glue, paint, step, double, you know, sequence of assembly, times two, you know, number of working steps involved, attention, or acton. So yeah, it's all there, all good. Colors, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. I don't suppose you'll need to mix these up because normally they have a mixture. But they got blue, gray matte, anth uh, anthracite matte, tank gray matte, tar black matte, uh, carmine red matte, sea green matte, silver metallic, brass metallic, and gray silk matte. So there you go, there's the colors that you need. Other other colors are you know can be found a b c d then e f g is missing and h is missing i'm guessing and then you've then you've got i j k so obviously they're going to release other toolings with the other sprues right quickly going through oh look at that so it's telling you here that it's got one three three so you're actually drilling out uh, it looks like number two. So you're drilling out left, uh, number twos on this one, which is good. Uh, so there you go. Uh, where it says one and two, one and two, one and two. So you're drilling all them out. You're missing out three, you're missing out three. So be careful when you drill these in that you only drill what they're saying here. On one side, it's saying one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, that's fine. And on here, you're, you're drilling out all the twos on the other side. Um, quick look, just have a quick check on that. Yeah, on this side it's saying twos, and on this side it's saying one, two, one, two, one, two, and then you've got these threes, so don't do the threes, that's good. So does that go in focus then? If I get up close, it puts this in focus, you can see. Um, so there's no, people can see that. So yeah, one, two, one, two, one, two, but don't drill the threes out. That's for another kit, obviously. Right, back to the, uh, instructions 
once you've done all that, so all that prep work, including cleaning up the, you know, the, the tool in itself, then again, I can't see anywhere where the sprue gates are. Can you see that? It's up. There's no sprue gate on the edge. I can't feel. Is that it there? Oh, I know. I don't think so. Let's have a quick look. No, that's that, that's not. No, that's that's fine. I can't see where the sprue gates are on this one. Oh, maybe that's it there. There's one there. I feel a little notch there. I've got to rub down. Just going through, going through. No, they're all they're all locating pins, locating pins. Ah, there. And there's a bit there. I do wish they don't trim them off because if you leave the the bits on, you can see where you've got to sand and clean up. When they're little bits, you may not see that. But on the top here, there isn't a single injection pin mark. Good good show there, Ravel. Good good play on that one. Yeah, I can't feel. No, that, that's just that's just where it drops down. A little bit of a sand up there, I guess. But seriously, I think that's one sprue gate there. Just a little one. And then in that one there, I don't see another sprue. So I wish they just leave a bit of a nub there so we can physically see. Because trying to put that together with that bold gel, that won't go together well at all. Not a criticism, just a suggestion. On this side here, let's have another feel all the way around. There you go. That's that's a sprue gate there. So sprue gate there. These are not sprue gates. That's part of it. There's a drop there. Yeah, okay, I'll, uh, nice one there, Ravel. But I just wish you'd leave a bigger nub so we can actually see to cut it, you know, that's just personal. Right, okay, so it's like you're putting in the, I presume that's the stern torpedo um, housing there. So that's being done so that you, you can paint that C, colour C, that goes in the back. Then you've got the bulkhead again, you've got, you've got front, front, front. So where the, so that's, so that's the bow, sorry, that's the bow, sorry. So on the bow. So where it's in front, so keep on that direction, so keep it in that way. So if it's there, there's your, your bow, there's your stern. So on the bow, you, you're putting that together and do whatever detail you need. Moving across, then you're starting doing all the other bits from underneath. Or you, I suppose that's vents. You have the doors open and closed here, which is nice. So I'll probably have them open to be fair. So you've got a choice of having them open or closed. Very, very nice. Uh, put your anchor in there and then uh, your rudder. Are they called rudders or flaps? Rudders, I presume. Again, so you've got your front section there that goes on into the... I suppose that's balance, isn't it, I guess. Then you're building up the, the, the propeller housing there. So, and then you put those bits on and then you put the propellers on. Easy, nice. Then... After you've done the rudders and everything, all the underneath there, you'd build the stand, the same painted D, which is tar black. Did I get that right? Tar black for D. Uh, yeah, tar black mat. So there you go. And then turning it over while it's on its stand, which is good. It's even got locating pins for the stand. Lovely. Nice, nice touch. Yeah, nice touch. You are putting in the stern and the bow. So the bow goes on for the deck and the front stern. And it's saying there, to, is that tape to tape it on? I'm assuming you tape that on. Just a quick check in the instructions. Attach with adhesive tape. Interesting. That's, that is interesting. Then you put in the full deck down and it looks like you've got some sort of pipe work there to go in there. Oh, the deep dive scene. Yeah, I get that. Just a bit more detailed. Then you've got your, 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 your guns there with, with the... Um, the attachments with the A-frame. Presume they swivel. I suppose you can get them to swivel. Uh, brilliant, that goes together fine. Then you're putting the tower together, telling you what to paint. And you're also doing the winter garden, the garden deck as well, I guess. Uh, or conservatory, whatever it's called. There, through. Easy, more vents there. And then you've got uh, some sort of section to go on the front. So that's all being put together as one piece. Yep. Got some boxes to go on there. Don't tell me what they I don't know what they're called. You've got a ladder, which is nice. So you're building this all in one section with it, which is nice. You're doing the Connie Tower and everything together as one. Another pipe to go on the side there. I do apologize. There's your flotation device. 
Then you've got some railings to go on. Cool. Front, back, rear, all over the shop. Moving on. You've got some sort of brake system there. And you've got railings going down the side as well. Cool. On the back. Yeah, plenty on here. And then you've got your working periscope. Apparently these can go up and down. Apparently you can move them, which is a nice touch. Then that all fits onto the conning tower there. You've got, you know, you're, you're mounting the guns all over the shop there. Then that all goes in one go. So you've got one, two, three, four points there, and it should just fit in that ridge. Nice, very nice. Then you've got some more railings to go front and side. Then you're adding, I'm assuming these are weight points, I guess or something or other to go on. Four different pieces. As I said, I have no idea what these pieces are called. Somebody who knows submarines will do so. And then finally, you are then attaching the rigging. So there you go, showing you thread rigging and the points it needs to go. So you've got one, two, tie that in a knot there and that goes to the front of the, of the, stair, of the bow. And then you've got two coming off the back here. Oh, that's what they're for. Those little A-frames are for the, um, the rigging. Cool. Two call-outs for this one. There you go. Let's have a look, shall we? So this is German Submarine Type 9, our Royal Canadian Navy, Naval Base Avalon, St. John's, Canada. So I'm assuming this uh, was borrowed, I guess, from the German, the German Navy. Then the one on the inside, which is the one, which I'm, I tend to think about building, the German submarine Type 9 C4033, is it Uflot, COOL, or Cool, Cool, Wreath, North Atlantic Sea, 1945. So yeah, same colours on both. One, two, yeah, seven. Oh, you got one, two, three, you got uh, nine there, and seven on there, so yeah. So you want to lose less paint, do the uh, Canadian naval one. And there you go, that is the instructions for this kit. So there you have it. That was the unboxing and a review of this brand new tooling from Revell. This submarine looks fantastic. I'm, yeah, it's definitely one on my list to build. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It, are submarines your bag? As I said, it, it looks very well manufactured. I didn't see any sink marks in there. Didn't see any short shot, very crisp tooling. Looks a pretty simple assembly done in stages or sub assemblies as you go, which is what you like when you're building these big, big models, definitely. And it is big for 144, and I think they do a 172nd as well. So imagine the size of that when if it ever gets done. You can go on the uh, Revel website and see all of this in all of its glory. They've released a video on YouTube, um, which I've borrowed images from, so you can see how it looks uh, when it's built. But yes, uh, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments below. And that's it from me. If you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, ring that bell, click call to be notified when I release a new video. Any questions, any comments, leave in the box below because I do reply. A huge shout out to my channel members who help me with this channel. If you'd like to become a channel member and get more perks from me, just click join below and uh, select which membership tier you so wish. Also, I'm plugging my book, which is called I Spilt My Tamiya Extra Thin, available on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can buy this. If you'd like to see more videos like this, just click on one of the corners and choose another video that comes up on the screen.